Welcome to 30 Day Breakaway. I'm so excited to bring Ronnie to Beach Fatty. I found it to be the most empowering, fun, and results driven way to exercise. It's what our bodies were designed to do. And after 30 days, we're going to complete a 5K together and get crazy results in the process. But it's not all about running. A good runner is a strong one. So before we run, we lift. Let's get ready to warm up. We're gonna take it into a half kneeling position and at a pelvic tilt, we're gonna be strengthening and stretching your hip flexors. Go to the side, we're gonna do a little sample. Inhale, pull the arm all the way up and take it to the side again. Beautiful, and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Pelvic tilt, activate the glute, and go ahead and reach. Pull the arm as high as you can and go to the side. We're always gonna be opening our hips and working on that mobility. Pull again before doing any lower body. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab your beach body resistance loop and you're gonna place it around the ball of your feet. Before each leg workout, we're gonna be doing exercises to activate your glutes. From this position, bend your hips. You're gonna do a step to the left and then drive your knee. We're gonna do this side first. We go in three, two, take it to the side, activating the core and drive your knees. We're gonna be doing a lot of exercises that are gonna help you strengthen your glutes, your knees and your hip flexors. Breathe in. Activate the core, and five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing, alternate sides. Bend at the hips, add that step, and drive your knee. During the breakaway, you don't need a lot of equipment, just different options for weights, your beach body resistance loops, running shoes, and your mat. Give me five, four, three, two, and last one. Staying in this position, we're gonna add a pelvic tilt, squeezing the glutes and the core, and we're gonna transfer the body weight side to side to look like a pendulum. We go in five, four, three, two. We go side to side, engaging your entire core, your glutes, and getting that strong foundation so that you can improve your fitness and become a better runner. It's all about the core, your glutes, your knees, and your hip flexors. Breathe in, halfway there, and yes, you're gonna feel that burn and activation. Hold it tight. Breathe in, nice work. Give me 10 seconds, hold it and embrace it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Safely remove the loop, and I'm gonna ask you to grab a challenging weight. We're gonna start with a forward launch to lateral launch and RDL. I'm gonna show you now. Forward, lateral, and from here, either a staggered deadlift or a single leg deadlift. Let's work that single leg power. We go in five, four, three, two, forward, lateral, and add that balance if you can, targeting your hamstrings, your glutes, your entire, leg and core are working very hard here. We're gonna do two more, forward, lateral, and single leg deadlift, if you can. One more, keep the core tight, breathe, and find the variation that works best for you. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Forward, lateral, and add that single leg. So important to get stronger legs and increase that stability. Breathe in, keep your core engaged. Stay with that, add that hinge. We're gonna do it one more time. Side and single leg deadlift. And last one, drop that weight, grab a medium one. 
We're gonna start with the leg that you started the other move. We're gonna take it into a kickstand squat. So starting with your feet hip distance apart, you're gonna take a step back and this toe is gonna be in alignment with your ankle. This heel is gonna stay off the ground acting as your supportive leg. From here, you're gonna squat down, stay low and take it into a lunge. So squat into a lunge. Take a deep breath. We go on five, four, three, two, add that squat and lunge. Slow and control. You're gonna feel your glutes, your quads. The back heel is always up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing, staggered position. Switch legs. We go on five, four, three, two. Squat down and take it into that lunge. Stay low the entire time. Expect to lift five times a week for 30 days. We're gonna get stronger and increase your fitness. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep breath, grab a lighter weight. We're gonna do a super fun move, a lunge variation. Look at me. And as you lunge, you're gonna pass the dumbbell to the other hand and alternate. Take a deep breath. Let's go in five, four, three, two. Take it back, activate your core so that you have that stability, slow and control. Breathe. Each resistance routine during the program is about 20 minutes. You're gonna expect to get super fast and efficient workouts. Breathe in, stay with that. Both knees at a 90 degree angle. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the weight. We're gonna work the power and continue adding that single leg strength. Next exercise, you're gonna take it into a lunge. We have sprinter's arms. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, and switch. You're gonna listen to my cues. Go as fast as you can with your arms and you're gonna switch sides. Are you ready? Join me in five, four, three, two, stay low. Bring those arms fast. Give me three, two, and switch. Woo, come on, bring it in. Bring it in, shoulders down, and switch. Come on, stay low in that lunge, and switch. Come on, I want power, I want energy, and switch. We're here to unleash your inner athlete and your best runner, and switch. Come on, body start with getting powerful legs and mind. Last one here, five, four, three, two, and one, great job. Now during this program, we find new places to run. So why not find new places to lift? Let's get ready to work your upper body. Grab a medium resistance weight. And I want you to stand with your feet, hip distance apart. We're gonna get ready for honor press. So palms facing in, tuck your butt under, squeeze your glutes, and we're gonna press in five, four, three, two. Now add that rotation and slow and control on the way down. I designed this program to make sure that you get strong from head to toe. Keep your core tight. So not only are you gonna become a better runner, we're gonna be getting defined shoulders, back and arms. Stay with it. Keep squeezing your glutes, slow and controlled. And five, four, three, two, Great job. Now we're gonna stand with your feet hip distance apart. You're gonna bend at your hips, squeeze your core, and from here, add a row, row, and then a bent over fly. Are you ready? We go in five, four, three, two, row towards your rib cage and add that bent over fly. I love to combine the most effective moves to give you an amazing workout in about 20 minutes. Stay with it, row, and squeeze the shoulder blades. We have 20 seconds. Make sure that your glutes are active, targeting your entire back, your shoulders, your glutes, and hamstrings. Last 10, come on. Breathe in, and five, four, 
three, two, and relax. Drop the weights. I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite drills to help you increase your strength and get better at push-ups. So no worries if you feel like you're not great at it. This program is gonna help you improve your technique and get stronger. Let's go into the high plank position, hands underneath the shoulders. You're gonna transfer your body weight, squeeze your glutes, and from here, you're gonna lower down in three, two, one, and then drop the knees, come all the way up. Join me. Slow and control all the way down. Drop your knees, activate the core, and push back. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Squeeze your pecs together as you push away from the floor. I love this move because it's really gonna teach you how to use your core properly during the push-ups. And when we do this tempo and work the negative phase, it's gonna help you really increase your strength. Stay with that, last few seconds. And five, four, three, two, and beautiful. Now, we're gonna take it into one of my favorite moves using light weights. Iron cross press. Stand with your feet, hip distance apart, Bring the weight, palms facing each other. You're gonna press overhead and from here, lower down as you rotate the arms. You're gonna hold it for one second and then come back to center. Are you ready? We go in five, four, three, two. Press overhead, palms facing down and let's hold it for one second. Come all the way back. I included some of the most effective moves to make sure that you get crazy results, even if you're using light weights. Beautiful. Stay with it, slow and control. Hold it here, getting beautiful, strong shoulders and upper body. Keep your core tight. Last one here, and let's hold it for two seconds. Come on. Beautiful job. Let's work the tricep. Feet hip distance apart at a hinge. Activate the core, activate the glutes and we're gonna do tricep kickbacks and hold it for one second. And we're going five, four, three, two. Hold it for one second, making sure that we're getting a stronger and more defined upper body. Breathe in, engage your glutes. Come on. I know how important it is to have good form to get the best results, and that's what I'm here for, making sure that you maximize every second, every rep. And five, four, three, two, and relax. Now, I want you to grab your beach body resistance loop and you're gonna place it around your wrist. We're gonna do kneeling bicep curls. From here, you don't need heavy weights. Go in that kneeling position, or you can do a standing. You can always put a pillow underneath your knees. Make sure that you tuck your toes under, squeeze your glutes, and we're gonna do bicep curls. We go in five, four, three, two, shoulders down, activate the core. And I love working in the kneeling position to really help you isolate and increase that core activation. We're gonna be using the beach body resistance loops to make sure that you make the most out of every rep by increasing activation and intensity. I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling my biceps. Last five, four, three, two. Amazing job. Let's get ready to work the core. Grab a light to medium resistance weight and let's get into a half kneeling position with your right knee directly under your hip. You can always use a pillow or a pad under your knee so that you're more comfortable. Add a nice pelvic tilt, squeeze this glute, keep the core engaged and grab the weight by the sides. From here, shoulders down. We're gonna add a three-way press. Are you ready? We go in five, four, three, two. Slow and control. The only thing moving here is your arms. A strong core is gonna give you better stability and balance when you run. 
exhale as you press. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and let's do the other side. We want to make sure that we're getting that nice stretch in your hip flexors. Let's go. Press. This is going to help you get faster and stronger and have a healthier lower back. So come on, squeeze those abs, shoulders down and away from your ears. Last four, three, two. Now drop this weight and grab a lighter one. We're gonna lay on your mat. Take a deep breath. We're gonna take it into a hollow body hold position. Add a nice pelvic tilt. There shouldn't be any space. Shoulders off the mat and grab the weight in one side. Extend your legs. We're gonna hold this position. Breathe in and just pull your belly button nice and deep into your spine. Breathe in, five more seconds, here we go. And then we switch And three, two, and one. Same thing in the other side. If you need to modify, bring your knees towards your chest. From recovery to performance, when you do this program, you need to make sure that you get your daily dose of dance nutrition. And three, two, and one. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, now press the weight, shoulders off the mat, and let's add some flutter kicks. Up and down, beautiful. Breathe in, we're gonna be doing so many fun and dynamic exercises that are really gonna help you increase your core strength. Breathe in, feel that burn. Last 10 seconds, come on. Press that weight towards the ceiling, and five, four, three, two, and drop the way. Take a deep breath. You can go ahead and grab a lightweight or something heavier. I'm gonna demo this move. You're gonna be on your floor, on the mat, grab the dumbbell with both hands, and as you do a sit up, you're gonna add a shop and add a, a rotation towards the hip. Are you ready? We have 20 seconds on each side. We go in three, two, add that shop. And exhale every time you come up. Have fun with this one. Add in that rotation. And add in that nice twist and challenge to a regular sit-up. Breathe in. You have five, four, three, two. Same thing on the other side. Let's get it. Breathe in. In slow and control on the way down. And explosive on the way up. So just make sure that you have your heels on the floor. Breathe in. This is one of those moves that is gonna help you release any frustrations during your day. And three, two, and breathe in. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my core on fire. We're gonna be doing one of my favorite exercises and getting to a bear crawl position. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're gonna place the dumbbell outside, raise your knees off the floor, and you're gonna bring the weight, tap your shoulders, and bring the weight towards the other side. Are you ready? Join me in five, four, three, two. Raise your knees off the floor, tap your shoulders, squeeze your core, take a deep breath, and I'm gonna tell you a little secret. <laughs> One of the things that I like to do while I do breakaway is that I have half a scoop of Energize when I'm doing my strength workouts. That way, I make sure to have that energy to crush my runs. Breathe in, you have 15 seconds. The goal here is to have your knees only above two inches of the round. Stay with it, come on, working your shoulders, your entire core. Give me five, four, three, two. Finish that tap, take a deep breath, breathe in. Cheers to an amazing strength workout. Now, let's get ready to break away and go for a run. a light jog and we're here for two minutes now I want you to take a deep breath inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth 
Today, I'm going to be talking to you in RPE, and that stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion. So one being you just walking out, relaxing or sitting on your couch, and 10, doing your max run, your fastest effort. This first block, your focus is gonna be an RPE of four to five. Take a deep breath, relax your shoulders, and let's focus on your breathing and your posture. So I want you to land softly, meet foot, engage your core, add in a nice pelvic tilt to keep your glutes engaged, and shoulders down and away from your ears. We're gonna start the first interval of 30 seconds. So we're gonna try this one out and find that RPE of four to five. Okay, ready? Start increasing your speed. We go in five, four, three, two, Nice and relaxed. Change that pace into an RPE four to five. So your knees should be going a little bit higher. Make sure that you're not crossing your arms. Keep them nice and straight. And breathe. Last five, four, three, two and one minute to recover you can walk it out or you can take it into a very light jog and if you're walking make sure that you walk a little bit faster and focus on your breathing or continue in that easy jog beautiful breathe in Good job. All right. This interval is only 60 seconds. RPE, seven to eight. I'm gonna start walking a little bit fast. And 10 seconds prior the interval, I'm gonna ask you to start increasing your speed on your machine so that you're already in the speed and that intensity for the duration of the time. Now, start increasing your speed right now, right now, right now. Because I want you in that speed in five, four, three, two, let's go. RPE seven, drive your knees higher, land softly, relax your shoulders. Good, keep your core tight. Now, when you're running faster, I want you to use your glutes to help you get that force and stability throughout your whole body. Breathe in. All right, halfway there, come on. Keep driving your arms. Woo! Get those knees higher. Just embrace it. We're getting faster and crushing fat and calories. Let's go. Final seconds, stay with it. You're recovering 10. Take a deep breath in. And five. Four, three, two, and good job. Woo, lock it out. Say goodbye to that first interval of 60 seconds. One minute walking, breathe in. We're gonna do the same thing again. We have an interval of one minute. So now, since we're gonna do the same thing, the first one was a great warm up. You felt that? I'm gonna ask you to go a little bit faster during this interval now. We're going less than 30. I want that mind ready, have fun with it. And like I said, let's continue increasing our speed and doing our best. I'm gonna ask you in five seconds to start increasing your speed one more time. So try to go a little bit faster on your settings. Right now, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Because I want you the RPE seven to eight, ideally eight in five, Four, three, two, let's go. That's your focus. Take a deep breath in. Come on. 
Just stay light on your toes. Land midfoot. Come on, use your hip. Keep driving your arms forward and back. Avoid any rotation. Drop your shoulders down. Relax. Come on. You're doing amazing. Halfway there, stay with it. Have more cadence. Last 20, all the way. Good deep breath in. Oh my gosh. Breathe in. Final seconds here. And you rest in five, four, three, two, and whew, one minute to recover. Take a deep breath. Oh, your heart rate is up. Embrace it. Now, grab some water if you need to. We're gonna do it one more time. Last interval. Whew. Okay, we're gonna take it into a light duck right now. Hope you're feeling good. Now this last five minutes is all about finding and maintaining your tempo pace. So we're gonna get comfortable getting uncomfortable. Ideally, I want you to stay in the RPE five to six at all time. So we're gonna be running, pretending you're running a 5K, but don't go all out. All right, here we go. We're going five, four, three, two, let's go. Let's find that pace that should feel uncomfortable but that you can hold. Good, embrace this tempo, embrace this pace. Start connecting with your breathing. All right, shake your posture. Breathe in through your nose, exhale. Now these five minutes, I want you to focus on your breathing and form. And really connect with yourself. Avoid any distractions and just enjoy the scenery today. Come on, keep running strong. So pretend that you're practicing running your 5K without going all out. What is the pace that you're gonna have that day? This is what this workout is for. And prepping your mind and body to endure that pace. All right, I'm gonna be a little more quiet than usual during this round because I really want you to dig deep and tune in and just focus on your run. And it truly doesn't matter how far or how fast you go. This is about you how you continue to improve and get better each passing week. Last two minutes, let's go.
Now, if you can, pick it up a little bit more faster than your normal pace. You're doing good, let's go. Find a 90 seconds. Come on, keep running strong. Now, drive your arms a little bit faster. One minute, let's go. Let's finish strong. Come on, every second counts. Come on, keep running strong. All right. Final 30, so let's go. All the way through, drive your knees up. Have you have a smile on your face. And we recover in five, four, three, two, and take it into an easy jog. Let's cool down or walk it out. Good job. Now, look at your distance and remember to write it down. We're going to allow a heart rate to go down. Take a deep breath. Stay with me. We have less than one minute during the cool down. You can walk it out, but just make sure that you're walking a little bit faster. You're doing good. You see, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> walk it out. I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale down, slow down your treadmill. Now let's do like one quad stretch. Breathe in. Now we're gonna stretch a little bit. Switch sides, but I want you to join me on either my rest day rollout or the cool down that I created for you. Let's take it back and do a scoop and hold it. Now, if you can, you're gonna go ahead and add a twist. For me, the hamstrings are always super tight. So don't judge me, I'm human too. <laughs> so come on, just go as slow as you can and focus on your breathing. Last five, four, three, two, and switch legs. Beautiful. Heel, get that nice stretch and breathe into the muscles and open up and rotate if you can. You may not be able to do this stretch, that's totally fine, just do your best and modify anytime you need to. And five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and take it into a high plank position. And from here, pike your hips towards the ceiling and you're gonna bring your knees in and stretch your calves. Uh, push the floor away from you. Let go of any tension in your neck and just continue alternating, driving your knees and alternating those heels. Beautiful, feel the hamstring stretch. Get those heels all the way down to the floor. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. 
I hope you feel amazing. I hope you continue giving your body all the love that it desires by keeping your nutrition in check and staying hydrated. Till the next one. Lifting and running is the perfect combination to lose weight, increase fat loss, and get in incredible shape. And this is just a taste of what you'll experience when you do a 30-day breakaway with me.